it's a it's, it's kind of a colonial i mean there's been back and forth about whether it's inspired by colonialism but like obviously the 17th century had lots of colonialism in it or the 18th century um and it is about discovering a new island so the old continent um there are various factions at play and there is an illness on that continent but th then there is a new island that's discovered and that's where the action takes place this is your character here you're actually a customizable character the guy on the stairs um, and you can be a man or a woman um, and you are uh, affiliated with the merchants uh, faction and you come to this new you're the cousin of the kind of governor of the new island uh, and you come there just basically hoping to make it a success for him uh, and this is one of the native people Siora who's kind of like uh, he kind of refers to her in this scene as kind of like a princess um, okay. but she's she's kind of the daughter of the chief of these native people uh, and you know they're developing this relationship in terms of she wants their help because there are um, people who are disrupting uh, kind of her tribe um, and you are going to form relationships with, with various factions this is just a little bit of footage explaining I mean looking at this skill tree makes me want to take notes and makes me feel anxious that's extensive isn't it that's an extensive skill tree yeah and this is kind of just some footage which is showing the kind of customization that you can do like after your main character creation um you know in terms of like outfits and weapons and how you're going to be able to customize your look um i'm going to keep that hat on that's all i know yeah for sure what's going on with our character's kind of beard half he's got like a is it a scar Oh, on that it? side, yeah. yeah. No, well, that is um, uh, that's a mark. I think there is a suggestion that he uh, has a um, a link to the kind of the native people of this island. So he's okay. kind of an outsider within his own faction, right? Um, which I like. Uh, and the game is, um, you know, talking about what kind of games spiders make. Uh, there is action. We're going to see some combat. Um, so it is an action RPG, but it's a game primarily about kind of reputation and diplomacy. Um, and you're going to be able to have a companion from each of those factions and you're going to have a relationship with, with them which is kind of going to be you know it's going to be your way into that faction whether they like you or not um, like I said reputation is important and you know in the kind of the style of maybe like a fallout um, which I think spiders have uh, cited as, a, as a, uh, an influence not just new fallout but kind of old fallouts as well your, uh, you know, you, the idea is that you will learn about this world and discover bits about the factions, and then you will make decisions of, on who you'd like to be allied with and not allied with, um, depending on their kind of philosophy. Okay. Which I like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's very, very interesting. And you know, diplomacy being a key part has intrigued me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and I think that. Um, I mean, one of the other things um, about the game is that the the idea is that, you know, no kind of RPG fetch quests. There's not going to be like, you know, go and collect five apples for us. Big or, fan of that. Or anything. Yeah. So the, the idea is that it's all kind of story and character driven and that the game has, um, uh, they're calling it like nodal narrative, I think is the term that they use. Uh, but the idea being that... Uh, there are this complicated kind of branching of possibilities depending on the choices that you make with the various factions. Right, got you. Um, we are seeing a tree come out the ground to grab that bald man. I'm glad you mentioned that because I was <laughs> I was going to mention it myself. Yeah, so there's obviously magic in this world. I don't know a ton about it. All I, what I do know is that the native people of this island have a magic um, based on nature. Right. Probably remember that being spoken about. What we haven't seen yet... And I don't know if it's just kind of background or whether we're actually going to get to see it in the game, but um, this is a bit about kind of diplomacy. Look, uh, you yes. saw that you were using your charisma talent there, to, uh, which opened up another option. If you, um, you like, there are other ways around problems. Uh, you can also kind of try to bribe or, uh, yeah, like, you know, make trades for certain deals as well, or you can yeah. use kind of combat. Anyway, um, people of the old continent have a magic based on light and shadow oh. which i really like that i don't know what that could mean no, but me it either. sounds very cool uh, related to night and shadow light and shadow dave uh, a throwaway fact from me but the game has a day and night cycle that's good and everybody likes a day and night cycle. exactly i thought you know i mean in what world would i not mention that i mean day and night cycle hats and uh, magic based on you know trees yeah uh, i'm i'm basically in at this point um what we're going to see now at the end is kind of a very final um large boss i don't know if it's a boss actually well it, i guess it's got its own health bar at the top of the screen so you know canonically in video games uh, that means it's a boss and i've got to say i was um like i said expectations were 
set to uh, you know very much let's see what this is going to provide but in terms of like the smoothness of the action uh, if the kind of RPG experience is really deep as well this kind of looks I, I think it's fair to say better than I was kind of anticipating because we saw it at E3 the year before as well yeah. didn't actually see any gameplay 